Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be answering a question one of my subscribers asked. They asked about doing gold wings like this, um, how it goes up um, through here like this, get it to um, sweep up. Let me turn off the canvas so we can see the wing, how it does this. As you can see, um, it's got three angles in here. This one here, then this one sort of goes a little flat here, and then it goes back up this way. Just like that. So let's go ahead and get started here. What I did already is I sketched the profile here. And um, it's just an arbitrary airfoil here. And you would just sketch your airfoil um, on the center plane like I did here. Um, you first sketch this line. Um, you have to imagine um, the wing in here, the profile of it, or if you have a profile that you want to use, just put it in here. So first, like I said, you sketch this line on this plane. Then you look at this from the front view, the line itself. So this will be that line and see where it comes up through here, the center of this, these two points here, the center here. Then uh, what you're going to do, then you're going to sketch this here. Next, you're going to come up to construct, and you're going to use a um, plane and an angle. And you're going to um, select this. Then you'll look over here, and then we have our plane, and then you just rotate it to the correct angle that it needs to be. And that looks... That's negative 8. Oops. Let's go with negative 10. Okay, so we're going to uh, stop at negative 10 here and click OK. Next, look at the plane here. We're going to sketch on this plane here now. So click the plane and create sketch on that plane. And I want a direct view of the top again. Now I need to project these points onto the plane. So uh, select letter uh, P for project. Or if you don't remember P for project, just come over here and select it over here. I'll go ahead and turn off the canvas just so I can see the uh, profile. Then I'm going to select these and click OK. Now turn the canvases back on so we can see the wing itself. Then I'm going to use a line, snap it here, onto here, and drop this down to here. Same thing for the front here. And take a look at this. Okay, now we can see the lines going up like it should, and go ahead and finish sketch. Next, um, depending on uh, what you want to use, you can use surface modeling or um, solid modeling here. I'll just stick with this. Then we'll select um, sweep, change this to path and guide rails, and the profile is going to be these two here. And turn off the canvas just so we can see this. Then the path, we select the front line here. And then the um, guide rail, the back line here. We'll extents and click OK. And we have our first piece there. Now, I'm going to turn off the canvases here. Now this doesn't look straight, but I'm going to leave it as it is. And now we're going to create a sketch on this plane here. And I'm going to project this. Click OK. Then I'm going to sketch a line, snap it here, snap it here, click OK, and finish sketch. Next, come up here to construct. 
I'm going to use plane at an angle again. Click that and select this line and look at this from the front. Turn the canvases back on and we're going to move this. Somewhat match this. I don't know what, uh, why it's doing this. Let me cancel this. Okay. Construct again, plane at angle. Use this line here. Look at this from the front. Turn the canvases back on. And negative nine. Negative eight. Let's try seven and click OK. Move this to the top and now we're going to create a sketch on this plane here. And once again, we need to uh, project Some points here. Click OK. I'll take a line, snap it there, pull it all the way down here. Snap it here. Finish sketch. Now this plane here is down a little, so um, we're gonna come down here to this plane. Well, we really don't have to. What I can do is um, cancel this. Move this back. About right there. And move this one up a little. Okay, and the plane, this here, edit, and that's not right, so. Try that. All right. Turn off the canvas. And we're going to use the sweep again. And um, these are the profiles. Click that. That. And click OK. And there we have our second portion of the wing. And then the final portion of it. Turn off the canvases again so we can see it. Create a sketch on this plane here.
project this, click OK, sketch a line here, here, click OK, finish sketch. Now we're going to use a uh, plane at an angle, select that, select the line there, and look at this from the front again and turn the canvases back on. And rotate this to where it should be. That looks about right. We'll just leave it there and click OK. Once again, create a sketch on the plane we just created. And we need to project those points again. Letter P for project. Click OK. Use the line tool again, snap it there, pull this up. Line tool, snap it here, pull this out. And finish sketch. And again, turn off the canvas so I can see. Come over to create, and we're going to use a sweep again. Make sure you set the path plus guide rails and full extents. And the profiles again are these two. And the path, this. And the guide rail, this. Set the join. Click OK. And we have our gull wing. Now this could come up a little more. So, come over here and edit. Change this to 11 degrees. Change it to 12, maybe look better. And that's better. I'm going to match that. So now that matches that shape. And that's how to do that. So that is going to do it for this short video. Just um, answering a subscriber's um, question how to do this. And the last portion of this wing, you just do it the same way. What it could have done is just, X, um, let's see, turn back on that sketch. Now this curves down here, so uh, what I have to do here is the same thing what it did before. This just looks like it goes up just a little bit here. So I'll you would create a sketch on this plane here. Just show you guys real quick before um, closing out this video. Again, project this line here, here, finish sketch. Come up here to construct and select the plane at an angle. Click this line here, left click. Turn this to the front so we can see the angle and rotate this where it should be. That looks about right and then click OK. Then we're going to create a sketch on this plane here. Letter P for project, we're going to project points again. Click OK. Go back to the top here. I'm going to use a fit point spline this time. It just has curvature to it.
Then use a line. Well, this has curvature in the back too. Cancel this. See if we can do this. Finish sketch. And use the sweep again. Now let's see if it lets us do this. It might not. But it did. And click OK. And there we have the, um, the wing now. And there's the wing. Okay. So that's going to do it for this video. And um, if you have any questions on what I did here or any questions about anything in my videos, just leave them down in the comments or um, contact me by my email or my Facebook group or my Patreon uh, group. And both are called Cadbill Fly or C. And if you can, become a paid member on my um, Patreon site. It's only $5 a month. And you have access to all the files that I show you guys how to model stuff on my channel here. So, yeah. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that um, notification bell as well so you don't miss um, new videos coming out every week. And so, yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. And I will catch you in the next one. Subscribe for more.